Our big U-shaped dinette here will comfortably sleep two adults. It's 60 inches lengthwise, 52 inches this way. Plus our cushions are a nice six inches thick, so it gives you a nice cushy bed to sleep on. With the big U dinette here in the 250 BHS, KZ uses a six inch thick dinette cushion. And not only do we have a nice thick closed cell foam, but we also put a fiber pad on top of it. We sew these in-house, we don't buy them. It allows us to use a deeper cushion. And as a result, when you sit down on the cushion, you don't sink all the way down to the baseboard underneath the dinette cushion. Okay, with the Spree Connect, one of the things that KZ has always tried to do is give you a hard door going into the bedroom instead of a curtain or an accordion door. This gives more privacy to mom and dad in this trailer and a little more quiet also. We use switches to turn the lights on and off in the trailer instead of having to reach up to the ceiling. It makes it so young kids can turn the lights on and off. And convenient switches for the slide room and the awning. Also with our radio here, this is an AM FM CD player, DVD player with Bluetooth capabilities so you can plug your phone into it and play music off your phone. Also we do have a USB port here so you can recharge your phone when you need to. In the Spree Connects, we add a skylight in the kitchen area just to provide more ambient light in the living area so you don't have to use your LED lights and use battery. The nice thing about the LED lights is they are very cool and they also draw a lot less power than the standard incandescent lights. Our air conditioner, we use a ducted air, 13,500 BTU ducted air standard with a quick chill grill. You can open these vents up. It dumps all the air right into this location when it's hot to immediately cool this area. Then you can cool your bedroom areas at a later time. In the kitchen of the Spree, we use all solid wood cabinet doors. They are mortise and tenon, so the doors actually interlock, give you a nice solid door. They won't come apart as you open and close them. We also put shelves inside our cabinet doors. So instead of just a big open spot, you have a place to separate your plates and dishes. In the sink, we use a double bowl acrylic sink. Instead of being stainless steel or hard, if you drop a plate or a dish in here, it will not break. We also use a high-rise faucet with a sprayer on it to help clean your plates. But with the high-rise faucet, you can also get big pots and pans in. The Spree is one of the few trailers that has an ample amount of drawer space. We have a 900 watt microwave to warm your coffee up in the morning, nice three burner range with oven, and a six cubic foot refrigerator. The nice thing about the refrigerator, we use a Norcold refrigerator, it is gas and electric, and it's a little bit bigger than some of the competitions out there at an actual 6.3 cubic feet. Coming back in here into our bunks, this is one of the signature things of the Spree Connect that KZ across the board basically is we use a four inch bunk mat with the nice pile lining to keep your kids cooler at night. But because it is thick, even an adult can sleep up on this nice big double bed. So they're sleeping for two adults up here, two adults down here, two adults on the dinette, and two adults in the, in the bedroom, giving you sleeping for 10 people. As we move into the well-apportioned bathroom, we'll start with the tub, nice size tub with a surround to help protect the walls from water. We also put a skylight up over the bathtub or the shower so taller people can actually get in the tub without bumping their head. Um, you have a nice sink, toilet, and we even put a medicine cabinet into our bathtubs. The other thing that's kind of unique to KZ is we put a light switch to turn the lights on and off. So in the middle of the night, mom and dad don't have to get up and turn the lights on for their kids. As we come into the bedroom, the first thing I'd like to point out is we use pleated shades for all our window treatments. Some companies just put them in the living room. Some companies use mini blinds throughout. Pleated shades are, provide a little more privacy and also don't rattle like a mini blind will you come up and look at the cupboard cabinets we have a full-length shirtboard robe on this side 
On the other side we have a nightstand, a full bank of storage doors coming across the top with two reading lights up underneath the cabinets. Our mattress, we have a nice foam mattress, very comfortable, very thick, very supportive. And underneath the bed, we have nice storage with gas struts to help hold the bed up so it's easy to access that storage. Also, if you look back here, notice we put a wall between the bedroom storage and the pass-through storage so dirty things you use outside don't mix with your blankets on the inside.